Carolina Breakdown. It's North Carolina Breakdown from our favorite Tennessean, well, one of our favorite Tennesseans, Arthur Smith. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of favorite Tennesseans.
Excellent to see so many dancers out there tonight. Mm -hmm. so we'll play a classic old string band number that was a bunch of different people sort of did versions of this in the 1920s, and this is our version of it. Some uh, words of wisdom don't get trouble in mind. We admonish you tonight, wherever you are, looking out on some snowy field. Don't get trouble in mind. It might feel lonely right now. You might be watching the, those bits of snow get blown off of your off of your roof and feel like you're just one of those little little snowflakes out there all alone. But look out there. There's a lot more snowflakes, and they all come together and they make the ground white. <laughs> Wait, what are we playing? Don't get trouble in the rain. That's just and visions of snow. <laughs> it, it did know, paint quite a quite a picture. I like to do word pictures. Mm -hmm. yeah.
both, and I guess Joe's been up to visit a guy named Clyde Davenport, who's an old fiddler who lives in Monticello, Kentucky. You might be tempted to call it Monticello here in Virginia, but in Kentucky they call it Monticello. And Clyde's a fiddler who, he's 94 or 5 now, and learned to play from his father and from the folks who lived around in that community. And one of the groups that he heard was an old man named Blind Dick Burnett, spelled Burnett. Actually, I didn't spell it, I just said it, but most people would say Burnett, but it's Dick Burnett. And it, he was an old man who had been shot in the face and lost his, uh, lost his eyesight. And so he made his living by singing on the street and would kind of play and sing and wrote songs. And uh, folks would give him a little change. And that was kind of how he made his way through life after he lost his eyesight. And he took along a young, a young man named uh, Leonard Rutherford, who he taught how to fiddle. And Leonard became this really smooth fiddler. And they recorded back in the 20s. And Clyde Davenport, this fellow that we've hung out with, would hear them playing at the courthouse. And Clyde, he swears that he has never tried to learn a tune in his life. They just came to him. And so he would just walk by them and absorb every bit of musical uh, knowledge that those guys had. That's what he says. And it's actually kind of true. But we've An amazing both, memory. So many tunes and so many songs in that head. Hundreds of tunes. And we've both spent time across from him, you know, trying to make our bows move in the same way that he does. And he's not, um, not always the... And trying to not to let his humor get the best of us. Yeah. But, uh... Moral not, in effect. <laughs> this is one of his, his songs, in a, a Burnett and Rutherford song. It's called uh, All Night Long... Thank you. 
We're going to get Emily to fiddle a, um, I'm going to hand, Emily and I are going to swap instruments here and I'm going to grab the, uh, fid wait, I'm grabbing the banjo now, I'm sorry. And she's going to pick up the, uh, that was, that was she's like... picking up the uh, fiddle and she's going to play a classic, uh, we call it a chestnut. Arkansas Traveler, except it's not going to be in the familiar key for those of you out there who know and love old time music of D. It will not be in the key of D. I will say that once more. It's going to be in the key of C. It might blow your mind. She plays, she might plays it really well. Mind. It might be fun. Here's a fiddle tune I heard from John Hartford. It's called Birdie.
That's yeah. serious music.